Hi everyone, in this video we're gonna take a look at S'more. This is an augmented reality uh, physics based puzzle game uh, for single player and uh, it has a local multiplayer game mode as well. In this game you need to uh, guide the marshmallow uh, into an end point uh, so it can become um, a s'more. So a s'more in general is a traditional nighttime campfire treat popular in the United States and Canada. This is the description or read on the internet. And the idea is you basically put some different items in the scene and then when you press play uh, it activates the gravity and then uh, hopefully uh, the marshmallow will reach uh, the end point. So enough talking, let's jump straight into the action. Actually I was playing on the table right in front of me. It's actually a perfect game to play on this table. I mean it's just kind of a cloudy day and was searching for something to play and it was just perfect. And here you can see I'm just placing the level. I'm doing the tutorial now. This is a very nice tutorial that teaches you about the basics of the game. Uh, I can move it around, I can uh, rotate it, scale it down, uh, so it's very comfortable. Once I'm uh, happy with the size and placement of the um, level, I can just start it by pressing the button, the place level button. Now at the top you can see the play button which uh, activates the gravity uh, and the toolbox. The toolbox in the toolbox you actually uh, see the items in the sidebar and you decide which one you want to use. And there's a restart button which resets the uh, level completely and you can start from the beginning. But if you want to retry, uh, you have the option to just uh, retry uh, without resetting the app. So for example if you fail or if something fell down and uh, so you can just... Um, make kind of a soft reset and then you just uh, uh, put all the items back and then you can start from, uh, you know, not from the beginning but from the point where before you activated the play button. Now as you can see I just dropped this, uh, I have this uh, uh, item which I can now use. Uh, each several levels you're going to introduce a new item which uh, each one affects of course the gameplay and you need to use them properly in order for the marshmallow to reach uh, this chocolate bar endpoint. Now if you're wondering, the game doesn't have any sound. Unfortunately, I was so upset about this, so upset. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about the issues a bit later on. Uh, so as you can see, just move, plays around, and then uh, you can see the marshmallow. Again, gravity is not activated, so the marshmallow just floating in the air. But uh, from here, of course, I needed to find a solution. So the easiest solution for me was to just... You need to, uh, by the way, aim the center dot into the item that you want to edit, press the edit button, and then you can start editing it. And then as you can see, I just resize it and move it a bit. And then once you are happy with this, uh, you can just press confirm and then play. So gravity takes place and then I finish this level. Now, as you watch the gameplay, let me talk some of the issues in the game. Again, there's no sound. As you can see, the uh, level region visuals are visible, including the dots you see. Uh, so again, those feature points, again, something that I don't want to see in AR, just want to see something clean and again, it's not good. Uh, resize, move and rotate can be done using uh, single touch gesture best control, but in this game it's not. You actually have three buttons for some reason, uh, because you can only tap, for example, just to select an item. It doesn't matter where you place, uh, you know, you tap it, you tap it on the screen and then you select it. Then using touch gesture, you can use a swipe to move and rotate and uh, uh, a pinch in order to resize so there's no need for the three buttons they can be something you know on the side it's okay by but uh, you know uh, it's better if there was like a you know a default uh, touch gesture based uh, interaction with the items because just quicker and easier instead of just aiming editing touching the buttons moving and then you need to press resize if you want to resize and if you want to rotate you need to press the button to rotate and then rotate it's annoying very annoying Again, and the need to center the screen on the object to edit instead of just tapping on it. Uh, delete is also sometimes buggy. Uh, and the button left itself is buggy, sometimes it's overlaid. And uh, resetting levels uh, and items sometimes uh, without it deleting, uh, it doesn't delete all the items, leaves something behind. So if you start a new level, you see you know, an item that you just uh, position uh, in a certain location, it's just there. Uh, again, multiplayer doesn't have a back button. I mean, there are issues, lots of uh, UI issues here and bugs that um, kind of uh, ruin the experience to some degree. But having said all that, and uh, of course I would like to see better visuals and stuff, but having said all that, I enjoyed it. So that's the thing. Uh, I actually played a few games 
and I always mentioned that I wish there was kind of you know a physics based game similar to this you know with goals and I'm going to show you uh, two examples and you know so you can understand what I mean. So let's jump back and in, into two games that I previously uh, reviewed, uh, physics based games and I want to talk about it a bit more. So this is Twinkle Architect as you can see. Uh, this is a physics based game that I really like. You know, so you have some unique goals for each level and again it's, uh, it's a physics based game so everything can go completely wrong and you need to use different types of uh, items in order to uh, reach a certain goal. For here for example I need to build a tower which is 15 meter high and I need to make sure that I build it correctly because if not it's gonna fall down, crash and I fail and I need to try it again. Now there's also uh, nodes and other types of items which you can use in order to try to achieve uh, the goal. Here for example I needed to Just build like a bridge so the car can drive on it safely and reach the other side uh, and I fell quite a few times. It took me some time until I was able to do it uh, properly. But it's really cool, I really enjoy physics based games. Now there are other games like Playground AR which is a sandbox physics based uh, sandbox game. Uh, you can actually create something that kind of a game you know but there's no you no know, uh, predefined levels or something so back to our game here uh, as you can see I was sitting comfortably in front of the chair just you know uh, playing this uh, cute little uh, augmented reality puzzle game uh, and I enjoyed it I really enjoyed it actually I was stuck at some levels and it took me some time until I was figure uh, I tried to figure out how to properly uh, tackle this and I was building and building and building and building and eventually you're gonna see this soon. I'll just put something uh, very simple and it worked. Here you can see I'm, uh, I was able to uh, finish this level and I went uh, continue to the next one. Now it was introduced to a balloon which you can actually attach either to items or the marshmallow itself. And once you activate it, the balloon will just lift things up. And as you can see here, it was a very simple uh, level uh, and I was able to finish it. Um, quite easily but it shows you the place this is just for demonstration uh, you'll have to use this uh, properly uh, in other levels uh, it's gonna be harder for you so and there by the way a total of 18 levels hopefully the the developer will add much more because I think this game is awesome hopefully the bugs will be fixed and you know I, I can play this a lot like spend on this quite a chunk of time because I enjoy it so much now I'm gonna skip a few levels, of course I don't want to ruin everything. Here actually I got stuck. <laughs> oh, this level, this level. What you know, I always try simple things, you know, just putting a, a box and then put a, the, va uh, the van on top of it. Uh, so we just, you know, blow some weight and then just gonna push the marshmallow with the balloon onto the target. You see the target is on the wall over there. Uh, it didn't work. So I tried building really complex stuff. Let's take a look. So the first thing I try to do is to put again, uh, put a, a ventilator over there to just blow wind. Uh, so the fan should push. No, it didn't work. I tried. By the way, remember this one. So you see, it didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. I tried something more complex. I know, don't say air critic, what's wrong with you? Actually, look at this. I'm going crazy. I thought about building a bridge, but hey, if you activate it, if you activate uh, gravity, it won't work. It, everything will fall down. And I thought to myself, oh, maybe I should put it the, the, the fan on the top, rotate it down. You can rotate it down, of course. It's just rotated rotation um, uh, on the y-axis. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, you can laugh. I, I totally made a mess out of it. And just if you wonder, yeah, things can tumble down and fall. Again, it's a physics-based game. So expect quite a few of those on the way. If you just decide to go crazy like myself on big buildings and complex structures. So maybe a huge fan didn't work. Double fans, nope. And what the heck structure, nope. And after hours, I'm just kidding, not hours. I made it, yes. Such a simple solution. By the way, this is the bugged one. It's over there, I start a level, it's still stuck there. Anyway, some bugs. Now just, you know, with fixing the controls and the bugs and maybe, uh, you know, all the visual, those things that not relate and should be removed. I mean, it can be even better and adding more levels in future updates. So the game, the core game is really, really fun in augmented reality. Uh, I just hope that the developer sees it 
and can apply those uh, updates i think that will people many people who love puzzle games really enjoy it actually one of those games that are actually waiting to play in augmented reality and i've seen many games kind of similar but they're not there and this was actually uh the ones i was expecting to play the most um yeah so i really like it as you can see now, as I mentioned, that there is single player and uh, multiplayer. These are, these are all the levels. You don't actually need to finish all of them. You can just press and play them. I don't know why, and the paging thing is terrible. <laughs> I don't know. It's not terrible. I mean, come on, who does this type of paging? But uh, you can see I can just jump and uh, start playing uh, level 18. I actually prefer, you know, uh, uh, trying this, uh, you know, one by one. So like, yeah, there's something to expect, you know, instead of just going back to the, to the uh, last level. Uh, anyways, uh, this is a fantastic game in my opinion. It has issues. I'm not telling you that it does have many issues, uh, but something that you know it can be solved. But the core gameplay experience is fantastic, and I really enjoyed it. So this is it. This is S'mores available right now for iOS for free. Go and download it right now. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is very important to me. Um, and this is it. I see you in the next video. More cool things are coming. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm active there. See you soon. Bye-bye.